Guys, I'm trying a new camera angle and it's in my office. So let's see how this works. Um, I just honestly don't want to have to keep carrying and lugging all the purses out to the living room on the other side of the house and then it becomes a mess over there. So I'm going to try it this way and see if I can keep everything contained in my office. <laughs> so let's try it this way. Um, plus now I'm standing so I don't think my back will be hurting as much as it was when I was sitting and having to hold and lean and everything. So um, let's see how this goes. Also another quick announcement. Um, I will be, well, as you've noticed, uploading this video earlier than my normal video upload time because I will be going out this evening and um, so I will try to get as many emails answered as I can before I go out because then I don't think I'll be answering emails again until probably Saturday night into Sunday. Um, <clears throat> So just keep that in mind. I, I will put my email away message up so you guys um, see that as well if you skip through this intro. Um, so that's pretty much it. So bear with me, but that's why I'm uploading this earlier so I can get to you guys sooner. Okay, so um, with that being said, welcome. I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale and we're doing a purse sale video today plus shoes plus a thread up name brand handbag rescue unboxing. Okay, so, <sighs> re-dyed my hair, straightened it, going out tonight, you know. All right, so let's get started. Um, if you see any, anything you're interested in in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always down in the description box, so make sure you check that out if you have any questions. Um, please give me a timestamp um, or a brief description of the items you're interested in. Um, the screenshots don't really help me because I don't always remember where the item is in the video, so timestamps is what works. Um, also, I keep a sold list right under the video in the comment section, so make sure you check that out before you email me. It just helps with the amount of emails I get and being able to get back to you guys as fast as I can. Okay, um, shipping prices are not included in the price that you hear. All purses and items in this video are used unless otherwise stated, so there will be um, flaws. I will go over everything with you, um, but if I happen to miss something, I do apologize. I try to show you guys as much as I can, try to be as transparent as I can with you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the purses first, and then I have um, a small box of shoes I would like to show you guys that are for sale before I list them, because remember, you guys get the deal first. You get the discounted price because you are my subscribers before I up the price and add it to my eBay store. Okay, so first up is the clearance section. So this is comprised of purses from last week's sale that didn't get sold. So we're gonna lower the price and hope they get sold today. All right, so first one up is the, now I'm gonna be bending down a lot because the purses are all around me, but they're on the floor. So just, you know, if you see me disappear for a quick second, don't get scared. <laughs> if you don't see me come back up, that's when you'll get scared. All right, so first things first, we have a unbranded. This is the um, unbranded blue with the snake print. It is structured. Okay, it's in a very excellent used condition. Um, you have the pocket on the back, zipper closure, and the inside has your three compartments. You have the, the center that's zippered and your slips and zip there. So um, this one we're dropping to $20, okay? 20 bucks on this one. And then the next one is the ANA -A or um, a new approach. And this was the one that I did a little bit of a repair on myself. Um, so this was the black suede with a little bit of patent leather coming down the side. You have the patent leather bottom and the handles. Um, I do go through the clearance section a little bit faster because they were already shown in a previous video. So if you want to see them shown in more depth, just check out the last week's video. Okay, so um, this one just had very light wear to the 
uh, suede, nothing serious. You have three compartments here. You have the front section, which is buttoned and nothing in there. The back section, which is also buttoned and nothing in there. And then the middle compartment, which is zippered, is where we had the boo-boo that I fixed. Um, there's your ANA, it is suede, and then genuine leather. So then this is where the boo-boo was. It was a huge tear right up here. So I did my best to repair it. I'm not the best, but there it is. So it is fine, it is good to go. And we're dropping this one to $25, okay? 25 on that one. Then we have the Kipling. So this one is the small Kipling crossbody, or you can adjust it to the um, shoulder bag. You have the zipper pockets here and here. Really good condition. Zipper closure, and you have your pockets, and then a key fob thing so you don't lose your phone in the tiny purse. <laughs> okay, so this one we're dropping to 20 bucks. Then we have the Coach. I'm surprised this one didn't sell. This one's a great color for the summer months, spring and summer. It's like a beige metallic, see that? And you have the beige, um, the, actually the tan, top strap and then the removable longer strap you can do a shoulder bag or crossbody. Back has a pocket here. This one was in really good shape. There were just a couple little boo-boos like that black spot. You have your hang tag there. Really nice. Um, you pick this up and then in here there was a little spot. Where was it? Right there. All right, and then inside is one big compartment. Very nice condition on this one. Minimal wear, you have another pocket here as well. So this one we are dropping to $55. All right, and then we had the little bel uh, velvet embroidered purse. And this had the really pretty flowers, the little bit of fringe, um, the pocket here in the front. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag. And then there is your inside, nothing in there. And I remember I just said to be careful putting heavier objects in this because the um, cord is rather thin, so you don't want to break it. Um, we're going to do... 15 on this one. Then we had the Sonia Reichel. This one actually, this brand actually comps really well on eBay. Um, I had no idea, but you know, I thought it was cute. It is genuine suede. It is, you know, it does have a couple little wear spots. Um, you have the SR right here in rhinestones, and then the interior, this is why I looked it up. Made in France, okay, with the leather interior. Maybe, do I need one more light? Um, so super cute little, I also want to do standing so I can kind of show you guys what it looks like. Um, but then like my face gets all drowned out by the light. I don't know. It's a work in progress. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this way or do you like me sitting on the couch better? Um, so this one we're going to drop to $35. Okay. And then lastly for the, um, clearance section is the Kate Spade. Yeah, I think that's too much light now is the Kate Spade from the thread up from last week. It's the beige um, ostrich with the bow. And this one, so I didn't notice last time. Look at the, look at the um, strap. I didn't notice that last time. So the corners are pretty heavily worn. Um, the strap has that problem. There is a pocket here in the front, which is really nice. 
<clears throat> the inside is a zipper pocket, I mean zipper closure, and it has that red stain down there. It's more like hot pink, honestly, and some ink. But not too bad, but the strap is breaking. It's not broken, but it's breaking, and you have a lot of wear on the sides, so you know what? I'm only going to do five bucks. Five dollars, and you got yourself a work in progress DIY fixer upper <laughs> Kate Spade. Okay, so that wraps up the clearance section. Let's go into the thrifted purse section, and then we will do the unboxing of the thread up and then the shoes. So that way, if you don't like shoes, you can just close out after the unboxing. Okay, so first up is a fossil. So we have this really cute, it could be a crossbody or um, shoulder bag. All right, it's brown. And there's a little bit of wear on the front here, right there. And then you open her up. Well, actually, let me show you the back because there's a pocket and it zippers. And there's a little mark there and a little mark there. And the corners are pretty good. There's um, light wear, light wear, but nothing too serious. Um, so then you open it up like so and you have a nice suede pocket here. And there is a little bit of wear on the suede so then you have this pocket, nice, nice in there. And then your main compartment is nice. Got your zipper there and some slits over there. Okay, so this one, and then you had your key fob hang tag there. So I can't go I can't go low enough. Let me see if I can move this down. I don't want to tip over my camera. Oop. All right, let's see if that works. Nope, it might fall over. I don't know. So this one, we're going to do $40. Okay. All right, that was Dallas huffing and puffing down there. Then we have one by the brand Tarzetto. Tarzetto or Terzetto. Terzetto. <laughs> it is black leather. It's kind of like a little doctor bag. It is pebbled black leather. You have the longer strap here to wear as a shoulder bag or crossbody. It is removable. Nice size. I look so big in this camera. Like, I'm only 5'4", okay? <laughs> but I look so big at this angle. Okay, so this is the back zippered pocket. Pretty nice condition. All right, there's not too much wear. Very, 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 very light. Minimal wear to the corners. Excellent handles. We're gonna open her up. And there's the inside. Okay, super nice, clean, excellent used condition, and we're doing 45 on it. All right, next up we have, I'll take both over here, a Tianello, and it is purple. Purple pebbled leather. Really cute shoulder bag, excellent condition. There's just a little bit of wear to the edge coat, but that's not gonna really do much. It, I mean, I probably could melt it and it would you know, stick again, but it's just a splitting in the center. But honestly, like that's, it's not even gonna hurt it at all. But I just wanna show you, and then you have the pockets here and here, you have a little mark there, and then down here, uh, and this side is good, 
and the bottom is good. So um, we're gonna open it up. We have this little doohickey dad closure. <laughs> And then three sections. So you have your zippered in the center. There's your Tianello with this um, zipper and your slips on that side. Nice condition. And here's your little key fob or hang tag rather. So minimal wear on this one and we're going to do $45. Next up, we have a green Tianello. Love this Kelly green, super nice and bright. Really nice condition on the hardware. You have the two pockets again, like the other one. A little bit of stud detailing. Um, I don't think, let me see if this comes off. No, so this, these are marks here, here. Here. Okay, but that's the bottom. The corners are okay. Uh, handles are really nice. The edge coating on this one is, is fine. Okay. And then the interior is a magnet closure, and you have your three sections again. The zipper, here's your Tianello with the zipper there, and then your slips. So, super cute. Similar style to the other one. This one just closes more up at the top and the other one kind of opened more up at the top. So we're gonna do 45 on this one as well. All right, then we have, this one's so cute. So this one's Perry Ellis and it is a crossbody or you can have it as a longer shoulder bag. You know, or crossbody, not that you can see the bottom of it. <laughs> Um, so this one, I don't know if it's leather. There's no tags on the inside. I want to say that yes, it is leather, but I can't guarantee that. So um, it's kind of like a taupey color, taupey gray with the brown. This definitely is leather. Um, and then the brown leather handle, really nice condition. On the back, you have a pocket and it's it's got to be leather because that's leather on the inside and then the bottoms and bottom and corners are really great okay and then you're gonna lift it up you have a pocket here in the front also um, leather now the inside here here's your Perry Ellis this is a zipper and there's just a little bit, where was it? Here in the corners, how it's, it's not cracking, but it like, it's losing its black color, if that makes sense. All right, but other than that, it's really nice. Perfect little size. And we're going to do 35. All right, then we have a bag by W.A. Bag. So I've never heard of this one, but I thought it was super cool. It's a little clutch. It is leather. It's hard, kind of hard, and it's sewn. Okay, a little mark there. And here's your brand information there. WA bags. So wabag.com. Wabags.com. And there's your interior. And I guess you can put something in here. I don't, I don't really know if you want to, but just like so. Super unique leather clutch. And we're going to do 30 on it. Okay, then we have, okay, this one's so cute. This is Nine West. I, I thought it was adorable, look at this. It is a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. And I just thought it was so cute. It's got like the, you know, uh, woven burlap type of material, but it's soft. You have studs, you have black faux leather. 
There's your Nine West. It's in a very good condition. There's the back. The handle or strap, I should say, is great condition. Great, great, great. You flip this up and then you have a pocket here in the very front that snaps. And then your zipper closure. Super nice on the inside. Okay. Love this one and we're going to do uh, 30 bucks. Okay. Then we have Etne Anye. <laughs> EA, super cute red shoulder bag. You can adjust this to be a little longer, so it might you might be able to make it fit as a crossbody. I'm not sure. So if this is going to, I'm just selling this as a shoulder bag. Um, it is genuine leather. And let's see, there's a little black mark there. That's just a little fuzzy. The corners and bottom are actually really nice. There's a zipper pocket here on the side. And then the back had a couple teeny little marks like that one and that one. I think that was it, a little one up here. Okay, so you're gonna um, unzip it. That's the closure. And here's your interior. Super nice, minimal wear, nice red color, genuine leather, 30 bucks. Then we have, oh, we have to flip the page. And now, okay, this one's really cool too. This one, I think you can wear any time of the year. Look at this. Crossbody, shoulder bag, however you'd like to wear it. You have every color denim, so don't even say that this won't match a certain jean that you have. <laughs> it's by Guess, great brand, underrated. Really excellent condition on this one, guys. <laughs> All right, you got your strap, really super nice. So cute. Unzip. There's your guest interior. Slip pocket here. All right, so cute. My phone just loves going off, especially when I'm recording a video. <laughs> okay, so this one we're going to do 40 because I think it is super special. Love it. All right, now we have two Steve Madden pieces and they're brand new. So we have this one. This is like that camera bag style that is so in right now. Look at the strap. Okay. There's your brand new with tag, $88 price tag. This could be a crossbody or shoulder bag. Now check it out. There's so much going on with this purse. So you're gonna open it up. Now, this detaches. It is a makeup bag. Oh, I just noticed something. Why does it have that on the back? All right, we'll have to look at that in a second. But you have a makeup bag and you can keep it in the purse if you want. It also comes with a key holder and you have the plastic on here. Key holder, my God, card holder. And then your license can go on this side. That you can keep in there as well. So, and but then this is all detachable. But then you have the bag itself, because when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, well, you know, stuff is gonna fall out the sides. <laughs> no, it's not. Because you can, if you're not keeping that makeup bag in there, there's your interior little. 
And there's your interior. See, I don't know where that, see how it has that little bit of mark there too? Hmm, maybe it got wet at some point. So anyway, let's, we'll go over that in a second. You can tighten it up if you want, you don't have to. And then you can kind of just fold it under and then you can close it. So now you can, you know, pull it on each side and you won't have to worry about someone going in your bag. Or you can use this inside as well. So you get three in one here, three in one. And I don't know why that's like that. So I do apologize, it's brand new. I don't know what happened. Like I said, it could have gotten a little wet. Okay. So it's up to you how you choose to wear this bag. You have a bunch of different options. Let me put it all back together quickly. And the um, strap is adjustable. Okay. I didn't put it back properly, forgive me. But brand new, tag is right here. 88 bucks, and we're going to do 60, okay? So $60, three in one purse, and adjustable crossbody shoulder bag, whichever you would like. I really like it. I hope somebody else does too. Okay, now we have the other Steve Madden, which is a fanny bag. Fanny bag, fanny pack, belt bag, however you want to call it. Okay, kind of wear it a little bit to the side if you want. You can wear it to the front, however you like. This is also Steve Madden. Now, Steve Madden is not real leather, it's faux. Here is your new with tag. It's an extra large with a $58 price tag. Okay, brand spanking new. There's no pockets, no interior pockets. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I'm gonna get you the length of the strap, the belt, the belt, the belt, the belt. And it measures 45 total length. So 45 inch total length, but then you have these strap, uh, not thingamajiggies here. So 45 inches is the longest it can go. And actually I should be measuring it from the first hole, right? That would make more sense. So let's go with 40 inches, 40 inches is the longest, 36 inches would be the smallest. So a 36 inch waist would be the smallest that you would be able to fit. Like I could not wear this. So just so you guys know, 36 to 40 inch waist, brand new belt bag, $58 price tag, we're going to do 40, okay? Super cute, love it. Super cute. Next up we have, all right, we have a bunch of smaller items now, so I'm gonna grab them all and put them next to me. <laughs> next up we have a Moina beaded little vintage bag. It is gray and silver and white, okay? There's a little bit of wear to the silver beads on the front here. It's very, it's not very noticeable. I mean, it looks like it's part of the design. Um, so, but you know, it's in great condition. I don't really see any missing, you know, beads or anything, so. Just a little bit of wear on the beads up front from you know opening and closing it all the time. And then there's your interior. It does zipper closed. Just one little stain there. It zippers and snaps closed. And we're going to do 25 on this one. 
okay? Put that there. Next we have a brand new Betsy Johnson little makeup pouch. It still has the plastic on the name. It's gold glitter with pink, brand new. And the inside still even has the paper and the silica packet. Super cute to put your lippies in, in your purse, lip gloss, lipstick, chapstick, um, change, money, whatever. Uh, 15 bucks. Okay, let's put that there. Then we have the Coach wristlet. It is um, silver, black and gray, cheetah, leopard. Really nice condition. Zipper closure. Black interior. Okay, super cute, nice and clean. And we're gonna do 20 bucks. Then we have the Margo. So this one's really cool. If you guys haven't heard the brand Margo, it is an excellent brand. Leather is phenomenal. This is a little wristlet. Look at the tooled leather. You have card slots. See if there's anything in there. Uh, you can snap that closed if you want to keep them there. You have this spot for change if you would like, and then this spot for your cash. Okay. I really like it. Butter soft leather, super pretty. 20 bucks. Then we have a Michael Kors Saffiano leather little wallet. It is white and there's a little reddish stain right there in the center. I did try to clean it, it doesn't budge. And then a little bit on the back, but very, very light. Corners are great. Okay, the Michael Kors is nice on the front. Very little wear. Open it up like a so. And then you have your money section there. Okay, super cute. And we're gonna do 20 bucks on this one too. Then we have a Dooney & Burke wallet. This is purple fabric and um, pebbled leather. It's in really nice condition. Um, it may be a little bit faded toward the top. I can't, I'm not really sure. It, to me, it looks okay, but it could be, could have a little bit of fading. So you're gonna pop it open here. Okay, got the purple leather on the inside. Put a check, checkbook there if you want. And then your zippered section has your center zipper. Okay, super nice. Purple Dooney and Burke, $25. Then we, last but not least, we have a Coach hard case sunglass case. Really nice condition. <laughs> Pop it open and you have a cleaning or safety cloth you can put you know, around your glasses and also clean it, clean with it if you would like, and there's the coach. So, really nice condition, and we're gonna do 20 bucks on this. All right, that wraps up the purse sale. So let's see what ThreadUp gave us this week. So if you guys remember last week's ThreadUp box, it wasn't really the greatest. So we're gonna see what they gave us this week. So um, this one came from Swanee, Georgia. So let's see what came. All right, so I ordered this one 
May 31st. Rescue box, name brand handbag, $100. That's our central air kicking on and moving the balloons. Um, not a ghost, just letting you know. <laughs> Here, look, you can see the vent in the ceiling right there. So, because I know you guys are probably like, why are your balloons moving around? Oh, geez, look at my hair. Oh, I'm gonna need some hairspray. Okay, so let's get into the box. We even got a bunch of air pillows this time. Okay, first out the box is a Michael Kors clutch. So I could already see some wear to the leather. Yeah, this is overall pretty worn. All this. It's silver, but the wear makes it look more of a um like tan all the studs are there though which is great so you have a pocket on the back nice have a little spot there and it's pretty clean on the inside there's just one little stain right there so the inside is actually really nice it's just the outside has overall wear to it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks kind of tan. That's actually wear. So if anyone would like this envelope clutch, I'll just do $12. Okay. It is still structurally really nice. The fading actually kind of makes it look like it's part of it because it's so overall, like 12 bucks. All right, next up we have a Rebecca Mink Off. I haven't gotten one of these in a while. So this is the Rebecca Mink Off crossbody. Um, I've gotten one in every color. So this is, the strap looks good. There's just some wear to the silver tone. There you go, there you can see it. But just on that one side, so maybe that was the side that was on their body in the front, I don't know. Um, there's the front, you have all the zippers. They all work, but there's, there's no pockets, it's just for show. You're missing one tassel on this. Um, it's actually in one of the better conditions that I've seen because I mean look at the corners really nice <laughs> there's just some wear to all the hardware and let's look at the inside Eek. I'd have to wash this for sure it looks like some makeup exploded yeah that's pretty crusty, but I can wash it. Um, it's really not bad. There's just the wear to the, the hardware, but overall it's actually pretty nice. Um, like the leather and everything, I can spruce everything up. So if anyone's interested in the Rebecca Minkoff crossbody, I will do 25. All right, then we have Oh, this is cute. Okay. This could be a crossbody or shoulder bag. It is a Kate Spade. It's like a nylon. Cute. I would definitely have this as a crossbody, so I would um, adjust that right there. Super nice condition. Super nice. Now I'm hoping the inside isn't completely trashed. We're looking good, guys. We are looking good. Black interior, really nice. Let's check out inside this zipper pocket, make sure someone didn't poop in it. Okay, nope, we're good, we're good. Everything's good. Really nice condition on this one. I'm impressed. Yeah. 
All right, this one's so cute. Okay, so this one, 45. Then we have a Marc Jacobs. I haven't actually had a Marc Jacobs in a while. All right, this one's actually really nice. I've gotten this bag before in like a taupe, beigey taupe. I've gotten it in gray and black. But this one's red, I love it. Pebbled leather, really great on the handle. This handle looks really nice. So this is removable, it's shoulder or crossbody, and then you have the handle here. The back looks good. That mark I can just wipe off. Wow, the corners are really good. All right, oh, okay, so we're missing two rivets right here, here and here. But honestly, it doesn't even look like it's missing. It's quite uniform, so I think that's fine. Still looking okay. Okay. There's your zipper. It's actually very clean on the inside. There's very minimal um, discoloration. Let's look inside this zipper pocket, make sure nobody pooped in it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> this is cute, guys. I've been really liking the red purses lately. You can wear it like that, or you can do the shoulder or crossbody. So this one we're gonna do 50. Okay, that one's really nice. So that was one, two, three. No way, they only gave me four? No, hold on, no, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, okay, five. Whew, I was about to get a little mad. Here's the fifth, this is a Kate Spade. It's pretty nice. First looks, you got the Safiana leather black handles, and then you have a nice beige leather. I will clean it up, there's a couple marks at the, on the bottom I hope I'll be able to get off same with a couple marks on the back it's definitely worn a little bit on the bottom I will clean that up as best as I can um, the hand the corners actually look pretty good zipper closure thought I had something on my arm it was just a hair Okay, not bad on the inside for or this one. It needs a good wash, but that's fine. There's your Kate Spade. There's a spot right down there, eee, right there. Um, it is overall a little dirty, see? So I can definitely give this a good cleaning. I don't know if it'll come out, like it might be stained, um, but at least it'll be washed and a clean stain. <laughs> So this one's cute. Um, there's, you know, a little bit of wear to it, but overall it's pretty good. And I will do um, 45 on this one. Okay, nice big tote by Kate Spade. All right, that's everything. Now let's get into the shoes. So if you don't wanna see shoes, you can feel free to exit the video now. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you let me know how you like this angle of video. Um, let me know down in the comment section and now let's get into some shoes. Okay, I have the box over here. Let me see if I can put it up on the table. My desk, my desk. And then I have a few on the floor. So let's do the ones on the floor first. I have these cutie brand new glitter heads these are sneakers they are so adorable they are a size 10 let me just make sure of that where did I yeah us 10 sparkly glitter kids I paid ten dollars for these and I'm going to ask 25 from you guys I probably will put them up for like 32, 34, somewhere around there on eBay and Posh. 
Then we have these really cute Ariats. Whoops, almost dropped it. Ariat is a very expensive, usually equestrian, um, you know, type of uh, clothing and shoes. But I liked these. They're black leather mules. They are a size six and a half. They look super comfy. And I'm going to ask 25 on these as well. And I'll probably put these up for like 35, 38 online. Then we have these super cute sneakers. Great for the summer. They are by the brand called Wanted. They are a size 10. You got the silver metallic faux leather. It is a wedge heel. And then this part is see-through mesh. So nice and airy. Look at how great these, this is like fuzzy, super colorful, nice condition. All right. And if you need the, um, heel height here, it is three inches, three inch heel height, size 10. And I'm going to do $25 on these as well and probably put them up around 30. Then I have a pair of Sorel sandals. Super cute. They are a size seven. And they have like a taupey brown metallic across the toes and then elastic and then suede on the back. I got these at Savers for $8.79. I will ask, let's do 25 again. 25 and probably 35 online, so 25 for you guys. Last ones that are on the floor, whew, getting a workout, are these Allegria. I've talked to you guys about Allegria before they sell fast. So if you can find them at a decent price, grab them. They sell for a pretty good, um, pretty good amount. So these are a bigger size. These are a 41, so that's probably a 10. And here they are. They are black tooled leather. Super comfortable thong sandal. I paid $15.99. Now remember at Savers, I always get a 20% off coupon. So 20% off all my Savers items. Um, so these I will probably do I'll do 35 for you guys and they'll probably go up online for 45. Okay, so those are the last ones on the floor. Let's do the box. These are my favorite and I wish I could fit into them. Boom, look at these. Now you guys, these are coach. They're coach and they are samples, which means they may not have made it to the actual designer uh, store floor. So these are samples. They are a super neon pink. They're coming off red on camera, but these are like so bright. I mean, look at how bright, look at that. They're like glowing just sitting here. They are leather, they have the coach carriage there on the thing. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, it says fuchsia pink is the color. I paid up on these. I paid $21 for these, but they're in really good condition. The only problem is there's no size, but I am putting these at a six and a half. Six and a half, and let me just see again. See, I can't get my foot into them though. I'm a seven and a half or eight. Let's just see again. 
Yeah, I can't get my foot in here. Oh, it does fit. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what are you doing? They do fit. They're a little snug. So you know what? I'm going to put these at a seven. A six and a half, they'll be a little loose. A seven, they will be perfect. Because for me, they're, I'm a seven and a half and they're tight. So six and a half to seven, these will fit you. And I'm going to do um, 40. And if I put them online, they're going to be at least 50, 55 online. So then I have another pair of them, but they're yellow. They're yellow leather with the studs and the tassels. I paid 18 for these ones. And again, they're coach. Um, really nice condition. Again, these are the samples though. Sample. So now let me see these because I think they're the same size, yeah. So I can fit into them, but they are really snug. Like they're probably gonna give me blisters. So I would go with a six and a half if you, if you want them to be a little on the looser end or a seven to be snug. And I'll do 35 on these. Okay. All right. All right, let's keep going. So we have these Clarks, super cute sandals. These are size eight and they are faux leather. This is Velcro, Velcro, Velcro. Really nice condition. Uh, heel height is Two, two inches, 20 bucks, and probably 30 online. We only have a few more pairs in here, guys. So now I have a pair of Vionics. I've told you guys about Vionics as well. Grab them. They sell very well if you can get them for a good price. They are orthopedic uh, comfort shoes blue suede with a little bit of uh, like sweater material around the toe, I mean around the uh, foot ankle, whatever. Size eight. The, when I don't tell you a price, it means I don't remember. Don't, don't remember where I got them or what I paid. So these I'll give you, uh, I'll give you them for 30 and I'll probably put them up closer to 40. Then we have these. These are Diva and they are genuine leather. Open toe, super cute sandals, back zippers. They are brand new and I paid $10 for them at Goodwill. They are an eight and a half. Super cute. Um, 25 bucks, 35 online. We have another pair of Vionics. These are sandals with that like cork and gold metallic in there. Again, super comfortable shoes, all nice and strappy with the open toe. These are also a size eight. I would ask 25 from you guys and do 35 online. Then we have... These are Tom's wedges. And I've told you guys also before that I don't skip on buying, you know, boots if it's the summer, sandals during the winter because um, pe people are shopping all year, all year long for all seasons. I don't wait till Christmas to list Christmas stuff. Um, I had someone last month buy a pair of sandals and then the next week I had someone buy a pair of boots. So you can't really, you know, discriminate on when you list things because people may be going somewhere really snowy during the winter, during the summer for a vacation and need a pair of boots. 
and vice versa. They might live, it might be winter and they're going somewhere tropical for a vacation and need a bathing suit in December. So these are, um, they're got a little bit of wear here and there to them. They're size eight and the heel is a two and three fourths. And I'll just do 15 on these because they do have a little bit of wear. And I'll probably put them up for like 20 bucks. Then we have, I don't know if anyone's interested in a pair of heels. These were just in the box. I don't really pick up heels anymore because they're just not selling. Um, so these I'll probably just list for like 20 bucks. These are also a size eight. They're Charles and David. Uh, really strappy leather heels. So, you know, if I can get them cheap enough, you know, sure, but otherwise I don't pick them up. Um, four and a half inch heel, 10 bucks for you guys and probably 20 online. Uh, then we have, these are cute. These are by Sheridan Mia. They're a blue leather with this like kind of fish scale kind of metallic wedge, open toe. Um, these are pretty good condition. They look super comfy. Where's the size? I don't see a size anywhere. Oh, here. No. Weird. Okay, let me just try them on. They're an eight also. I wonder how come, Mo most of these I didn't buy myself. Um, they're from my friend that helps me shop, so I wonder where she's getting all these eights from, unless maybe they're hers. Oh, um, it does say 38 right there. So these are an eight, super comfy, and I, would, I don't even know this brand, but um, I'll sell them to you guys for $25. And then last but not least, we have a pair of sneakers. Um, I'm gonna skip on these because they're broken. Yeah, I didn't I didn't buy these either, but look. So we're gonna pass on those. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, let me know in the comments how you like this angle. Um, Maybe I should have closed the blinds, but I don't know. Uh, you know, I have my birthday stuff still in the background. It was just yesterday. Um, I do like the fact that I'm my back isn't hurting and, you know, whatever. But if you guys like it better on the couch, I can switch back. Not a problem. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Check the sold list in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.